wow, this is a shitty camera. Okay, so I was just importing my, I was just importing my video that I just did, this video you're looking at right now, the Leah Dunham one, and it is not in focus. And it looked in focus when I started recording it, and then it wasn't, and now I'm like, err. And I was thinking, should I just, stop it, you know. I was thinking, should I just, like, re-record it? But, like, literally, I did it completely off the cuff. No practice, no, like, type out. I just kind of did it and, like, let it out. And so I hope that you will forgive me for that and just enjoy it. It's fine. It's not in focus. I'm trying to make sure I look out for it, but just my camera, it, like, doesn't have, like, a screen. So it's hard for me to tell if it's in focus. And I do this when I'm by myself because it's the only way I can really record. And so I apologize. Um, I will try, 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 like, a billion times try, like, my little camera I love it but like there's no like way for me to really tell if it's in focus or not besides like me doing the thing and I press the button and it made the noise of focus noise and it, it betrayed me I'm sorry so please forgive me you don't have to look, look at it you can just listen to me but I do hope that you enjoy the video nonetheless and put up with the very why is this camera so bad this is like a two thousand dollar laptop why is this camera such a dog shit but Again, forgive me, it will not happen next time. I am going to do my best. And yeah, so hope you enjoy listening to me rage out about Leah Dunham for like 12 minutes. Yay! figures that if you talk about you could be labeled a hater and there are certain times where I feel like I'm in fear of like disliking women in certain industries and a part of me knows that it's not their fault like my my dislike of certain female actresses is completely utterly irrational and it's mostly because the media put pissed them as like, oh, you're the, you're the every girl. You fart and eat. You're just like a normal person. And I'm just sitting here like, I can't deal with this. Ever since fucking Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston and Julie Roberts are like the first two women I was ever like, I don't get it. You keep telling me there's something great here. And I'm just sitting here like, why doesn't Gabrielle Union have their careers? And I just can't. Or Robin Givens, just anybody. And I'm just, I can't. But when I was reading this article in The Hollywood Reporter about girls, I just, I will, I'm going to be real with you. I didn't watch girls. Not, and like part of it was because like I just didn't want, I didn't want to like girls. I didn't want to be a part of it. I just didn't want, I just didn't want to be the people like, it's a really good show despite the fact it's got no diversity in Brooklyn. I just didn't want to deal with that. I just didn't want to deal with that conversation. It's just like, I just don't watch it. People look at me, they think I'm an angry black bitch, and they just leave me alone. I'm like, fine, let it work to my advantage this time. I'll just be an angry black bitch, and I have to deal with this fucking show. You know, I have friends who enjoy it, and I did read her memoir, Not That Kind of Girl. I tried to I tried to give Luda Dutta many chances to, like, pull me back, to just be a problematic fave. Because, like, for me, like, Roxanne Gay is like that for me. Like, I, I respect Roxanne Gay. I don't often agree with everything she puts out. But I feel like you don't have to like everything a person puts out for they for them to be a great feminist resource for you. There are some that I'm like, I don't know how you became a feminist resource, but I'm not gonna throw those those shade out right now. But back to Lena. So when I read her book, her memoir, not that kind of girl, whatever, and I remember the controversy about that scene about how like, oh, she writes about touching her sister in an inappropriate manner. And I just remember reading it thinking to myself, why did she have to try so hard? Like, girl, you are rich. You do, you've you never had to, to do anything without having your parents as a backward. You're like, you're literally Lorelai Gilmore. And yet, you're trying so hard. Like, people like you. People think you're funny. You are an, an in, you know, a maverick in terms of body positivity or whatever the fuck. Like, why do you have to try so hard? And then I read this Hollywood Reporter article, which is a good article. And it was a very interesting thing to talk about because I feel like, for me, it is hard for me to to get past certain just things about girls in order for me to like it. I cannot appreciate that here is a woman who wrote us who wrote this entire show without diversity and didn't really give a fuck about it. Never really worked to fix it, never really dealt with it. Just kinda of was like, I don't know why people are being mean to me. 
and that was basically it. And I just hated how everyone like came up out of the woodwork to defend it, be like, no, I made these arguments about friends. Black people were talking about friends forever. You guys are stupid. I can't. And then, so the part that really that got me, and I'm a, I'm gonna get it for you right now. This is this is Bellows. It evolved into think pieces about what this show means about women, about Brooklyn, about sex, about race. It did exactly what you want a show to do, which is to start a cultural conversation. I suppose you could say it also, I suppose you could say it caused a cultural argument, but I'll take that. This is Dunham. The race stuff blew up first. This is, this is the editorial thing. The show, the series was criticized for having an all-white cast. The second night we aired um, was the first time I met my boyfriend. Musician Jack Astinoff, we were on a blind date. I had been metabolizing the criticism all week and I made a really, really dumb joke that I am perfectly fine to repeat now because I was effing 25. Can we put a pin in that first, please? Because I am 24 and I cannot even understand what she means by these fucking statements. Like, I was 25, I can say whatever I want. I'm not racist, yeah, I'm stupid. You're rich. You have had the best education in the world. You don't get a pass for being 25. Anyway. And then she goes, to continue it. <clears throat> no one would be calling me a racist if they knew how badly I wanted to fuck Drake. He said, don't say that in public. That's not going to help you. And may I say, Justin? Thank you. That was an apt comment. And then here's the rest of it. She said, I just didn't get it. I was like, I have the three most annoying white friends and I'm making a TV show about it. And here's Connor. I knew the lack of diversity would be an issue, but I didn't think the criticism would be on the level it was. Dunham. Or that the conversation about race would turn into a conversation about racism. Connor. But at the time, we were so focused on the struggle of women and the fact that we'd gotten four women on TV. Dunham. We had four real women who weren't famous. I remember Gemma going, I just had a baby. I have two different sized boobs. I've got a huge butt right now because I'm fucking breastfeeding and I'm not the hot girl. And then it goes on to talk about like how there was things about nepotism. I'm gonna just, you can check it out. It's all available online. But can we just talk about the fact that she just doesn't fucking get it? And that at the core of everything is the Luna Dunham problem is that you have a woman who has been stationed as a voice for women who has been given all of this ability to to say things and be direct and not have to worry about blow it because she comes for money she will have a back burner she can be progressive and who is hailed as a progressive and then she says ignorant stupid shit like that and we are all supposed to not be upset about it. be like why are you so sensitive okay she doesn't mean it she's good she put david glover and she put charles gambino in an episode everything is fine it's not okay it's not okay, and I do not get why we must lift her up. Why is Lita Dunham having four white women who are, she is a different, they're all, besides her, they're all skinny white women. Why is that the most progressive thing that we can do? Why must we still uplift white women and ignore the fact that we are putting black women down? Why must we do this? Because you know what? The whole four women on TV thing, don't give a shit because you know what I'm rewatching right now? Sex in the City. And Sex in the City was four white women doing four white women rich girl things, okay? And they weren't all bodily perfect, okay? And yet that shows its success. You have fucking Broad City, which manages to be very fucking diverse despite having two lead actresses who are who are white in it. So don't give me that, Lena. You cannot give this to me. This is why I don't care about Girl Meets World because you cannot keep just giving me white privilege all the time and tell me that it's gonna help me and then be upset that you're getting criticized for this you should be not you should not be upset you're just like but we're all annoying and we're all white i don't understand the fact that you only have white friends is a thing about you and even if you only have white friends you are a writer you can write people who are not your race and be like well i don't you don't have this is the thing that people get Writing diversity does not mean you have to write about the experience of a girl growing up in the ghetto. There are plenty of bougie, light-skinned black people you can put on this goddamn show. You fucked up, and you still will not own it. And she will not, and she will never, because her and the Amy Schumer of the world have just coasted on just being funny and making fun of the fact that they are fat. Cool. Is that when you call them fat, 
or you put them in in a in a video with other plus size women, they're offended because they're not they're not they're not fat. They're just fat. Lena Dunham's problem and why I can never really embrace her is because she thinks that because she cares about one issue that deals with women, that somehow that makes her a great feminist. It does not. If I'm wrong, I just got Lena Dunham wrong. I just I'm just reading her wrong. I don't get it. Tell me. Teach me why Lena Dunham should be the feminist icon everyone tells me that she is. Because from her comments about Odell Beckham Jr. and all this other shit, I, just, I, just, I always see her as is a woman who cares about herself. And there are so many of these, of these white feminists who only care about their issues and themselves. And I cannot understand why the feminist community as a whole that wants to be so intersectional, wants to be calling out people for this, that, and the third, cannot call out these women who do this constantly and only care about their bodily issues and not about the issues of other women, of other groups. And if Shonda Rhimes were to come in through the door and be like, Melina, you can now make your own TV show. You can do whatever you want. I cannot imagine making a show and not having a diverse cast, both of race, of sexual orientation, of disability and able-bodiedness. I cannot imagine not doing that. And I grew up in much less situations than she did. I grew up in East New York, in the ghetto, went to Catholic schools with majority black kids, you know, um, went to a, a small liberal arts school up, up in upstate New York, then went, got my master's at Berlin College. My life has been this circle, and even though I am bisexual, I don't know everything about the trans experience or everything it means to be disabled, but I can empathize and I can talk to people. And if I don't know, I, if I was a show writer, I would get someone who was that and be like, hey, you have a voice, let's put that voice in the show. Let me do that because that is what feminism is about. And when you have the power and you have the privilege and you have the opportunity to do something and you want to call yourself a feminist and you want to be here and get our money and talk about how you're woke and you're that and you want to fuck black guys, then you have to come correct. You can't just be coasting on this bullshit. Like you and Taylor Swift and Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence, all of you, Scarlett Johansson, all of you who have no problem shitting in the mouths of women who don't look like you constantly but don't want to be called out for any criticism, you guys are all full of shit. For you to march and talk about women's rights and all these kind of things and then to come here and still not give other women who are less privileged than you a seat at the table so that they can somehow elevate themselves is ridiculous because Shonda Rhimes is a black woman but she has written for every race, all kinds of ethnic backgrounds, maybe not perfectly every time but she has done it. There is no excuse.